Here we want to factor the problem completely. What that means is we first look for a greatest common factor if there is one and take that out. Then we can tell what type of factoring to use by the number of terms. If there's two terms, then we try the difference of squares or the sum or difference of cubes. If there's three terms, then we would try factoring it as a trinomial. If there's four or more terms, then grouping would be our only option. In this particular problem of x squared minus 9x plus 18, we have no greatest common factor. Um, and so we don't have to start there. Instead, we'd say that there are three terms, so we'd set up our parentheses for a trinomial. Now, because the last symbol is positive, that means both signs will be the same. Because the first sign is negative, that means both signs will be negative. We know that the first terms multiplied together must give us x squared, so that must be an x in each space. Now, the last terms need to give us 18. So we could look at 6 times 3, 9 times 2, 18 times 1 are all different ways to get 18 with that product. But what we also want to note is the two negative signs, which means the inner and outer have to combine to be a negative 9. So it looks like the 6 and 3 will be our best choice because a negative 6 as our inner term and a negative 3x as our outer term, negative 6x plus negative 3x does give us the negative 9x. So it looks like x minus 6 times x minus 3 would be the correct choice for the factored form of this particular trinomial.